and welcome to Add More Zest and my name's Rebecca, also known as 4 kids 147 It's time for a whip and waffle. Uh, so whip for work in process and progress and waffle because that's what I do. Chat a lot and waffle. Um, I have very nearly finished my coffee hug in a mug. Uh, this is the last section, so I thought we'll do the last section of this together. Um, I do have a kitting up video of my next painting for next week. Um, because it's sort of the end of the month, beginning of the next month, um, it is time to update my logbook. So rather than fitting in a the de-kitting of this and the kitting up of the next one. Um, I've switched them round um, just so that I have the new painting to work on with you guys for next week's Whip and Waffle. That was my reasoning behind switching them about um, and then I will de-kit this one the week after and get that popped away. Um, but I am planning on getting this finished with you guys and we'll see how long this takes uh, because I haven't really timed myself with how long it takes for me to do any sort of section on this one. I actually quite often I do pretty much a full row when I do a section on here. Um, so I've got no idea how long this whip and waffle is going to last. We shall see, we shall see. Um, but yeah, it's I'm filming this currently on Good Friday. So happy Easter to everybody. Uh, hubby and son are actually going out tomorrow, uh, Saturday, which is when I'd normally film. So I'm gonna have a potter around the house and get a few bits done and straightened up. We've done a few bits around the house today uh, and then I'm just gonna do some pottering, more dusting, I think, maybe. A bit of diamond painting, do you know what I mean? A bit of a, a chill, a bit of this, a bit of that kind of day. Uh, so I thought I'll film my whip and waffle now. Um, it's been a gorgeous sunny day today until about half an hour ago. Uh, when it started throwing it down, absolutely torrential rain. So I thought, why not tuck myself into my craft room and talk to you guys and get this painting finished up. Uh, and then tomorrow, in with my pottering, I can get all my photographs done, ready for my logbook video, which I will do over this weekend sometime but yeah I hope everybody is enjoying the long weekend um, I'm sort of spreading out a few of my tasks I think just over a few days sort of you know getting the house straight and cleaned getting a few shop bits done with Megan while she's off and getting some videos done but also some chilling and some diamond painting and all that sort of stuff I'm sort of spreading it out over a few days rather than it all being done within a day or two. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm rather excited for the next kit. I will admit I have filmed the video of my next kitting up already so I do know what painting it is. Um, rather nice. I'm kind of hoping that in my chilling diamond painting tomorrow I can work on it for a little bit as well because this one will be finished. So I will be moving on from one to the next one correctly. A uh, couple of other things that I that I can think of. Oh it is, I do remember somebody told me it was, somebody did a Facebook post to say it was their birthday this weekend. Let's hope it's near the top of the Facebook group because um, when it's on the Facebook group, um, sorry, 
bear with me the one tick let me find this sorry i'm back it took me a moment there because something appeared on the facebook group that i needed to uh, deal with as admin um at the same time oh these whip and waffles are eventful okay it's elizabeth who is busy lizzie on youtube um, so she did say she'd normally leave a comment, but she wasn't sure if I would get to it. Um, so I'm glad I remembered because uh, comments is normally my way of keeping focused. But who's to say how far I would have got down the comments. So have a very happy birthday, Busy Lizzie. Um, enjoy your birthday over easter break i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing does that mean you get more eggs or is it just good because you're off work and get to enjoy your birthday who knows um so yeah have an amazing birthday also um i've had a couple of very nice post posty um things this last week uh, one i sort of knew was coming but the other one I didn't expect at all. So firstly, thank you to Jackie. Let me just zoom out. Uh, Jackie had a sort out of her things and she actually offered me um, some of these like plant diamond paintings and this snake plant one. Uh, appeal to me even with all the white in the background and um, so she has sent me this one it is a 30 by 40 it has 20 different colors yes a lot of white multi-placing at its best um, but then I have this gorgeous plant to do as well so I do need to remember when I update my logbook which I think is Monday's video. So when I update my logbook and do my logbook video, I will bob this one in as well. So thank you for that, Jackie. She's also sent me a few of these extra baggies that she's got extras of, which is perfect because I put my paint gem mini sets in these and the rate they keep bringing them out, uh, I compared to how quick I can complete them, I need more bags. So very much appreciated. For those and then the other one is actually from Cheryl this is this was a surprise for me but very very suitable you can tell she watches my videos um, so she has sent me these little post-it notes that she has made uh, and it is item in the house to take um, to the shop or item in the shop to take to the home so for example she's given me an example so if I've got shipping boxes in the house that need to go to the shop I can do a little arrow tweezers that may need to go into the home as we all know I did have a problem with having tweezers about and also scissors so I am going to keep hold of those primarily I think I'm going to keep them in my craft room um, because I think there is a lot more things in the shop that, I, that I'm going to want to grab for in here as I'm filming videos. Uh, but she has sent me quite a few. So if I find it works very often the other way, I might keep some in the shop as well. But I know I definitely have had a few items that haven't sort of fully made it over. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep those out and try and remember all the bits that I need to make sure I have some in my craft room or indeed move from the craft room into the shop. So thank you ever so much for those Cheryl, they were a lovely lovely surprise uh, when they turned up. So yeah, they are my couple of little updates of things that have happened and arrived this week. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it, I've been a bit of a busy bee doing restocks this week. Quite a few things seem to have got quite low um, with orders that were going out. So I've been doing a mixture of advent prep and restocks, sort of mixing them both up so that I don't get bored. Um, but yeah, Catherine is also home for the Easter break. She's currently at work. She's actually working the next few days over Easter. 
Um, but I'll of course get to see her in the week when she's here. Joys of working from home. <laughs> And I need to get prepped or get the last, the last bits, the last examples, bare minimum prepped, um, because I do need to film the launch video soon. We have um, a launch at the beginning of April, and yeah, all the trays and everything are ready, but I do need to get ready the cover paper. Um, we need to make final decisions on which cover paper we'll be releasing for the limited edition for April and yeah then get some of that prepped and ready as stock ready to go so it's going to be a busy next week for me especially because I have Megan Megan is off, so there's a few days that we'll need to do some things that we sort of do together. Just to throw that in there, why not? Right, I'm to keep trying to work out what's the best colours to do. I sort of have a little bit of this sort of underneath the coffee beans, and then I have the coffee beans. So every time I'm trying to pick one, I'm trying to check one that I've not got loads of it up here. Um, but I actually ran out of a colour on this painting, would you believe? So my spares came in very handy last night when I was um, doing this, this, the rest of this top part. Um, yeah, I actually had to dig into my square spares for one of them. But it's all good because I have them and that's what they're there for. Uh, things like this are the reason I save my spares along with everything else. Along with, you know, the Heaven and Earth design projects and stuff that I've done. So yeah, it was good to have that little backup. So on to comments questions etc so magic moonchild she says this is going to be a long comment she said because of random little things so she said the blue and orange pen oh that's actually this one blue and orange pen of hers broke oh and she is heartbroken she says as it was her favorite uh, she's got some super glue and she's hoping that will fix it. Uh, do let us know the amount of pens I have um, that I have lost, in effect, the ability to put um, a pen tip in one end because of dropping it. I'm not even sure if that's showing up, but I've completely taken a chunk out of my pink and purple pen uh, and a few others. I do have a rug in my craft room. However, you can bet your life if I am going to drop my pen, um, which I do often, it does not land on the rug. It lands on the hard floor and decides to knock the metal tip out of it and crack it. Uh, I've never actually tried super glue in it. Maybe I should try and keep hold of the, you know, the piece that comes out and super glue it instead because I'm sure I would possibly be able to save quite a few pens doing that. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it happens far too often for my liking. But I do have loads to choose from. It just always seems to happen to my current favourites when I am using the pen loads, which I suppose, you know, the odds increase for me to do it to a well-used pen, but still, doesn't make it any nicer. Uh, she also says, she says she ab uh, admires my ability to single place. Um, she says she doesn't know why she does this or whether it is just her. Uh, she said it probably is, she says, but she does give inanimate objects feelings. Um, she says, so if there is a group of diamonds together in the tray, uh, she doesn't like to separate them. 
Um, so she spends most of her time working out ways that the diamonds um, can be close to their tray friends. Oh look, I've missed one already. This is another thing I've done extremely often with this diamond painting. It's missed ones. There it is. What am I like? Um, so yeah, so they are going to be all close to their tray fens on the painting. Otherwise, they will be sad. Um, she says it's mentally draining for her, but she doesn't have this problem when she multi-places for whatever weird reason. I get your reason for it. Um, I do sometimes talk to the drills. Normally, I'm, I'm worse at trying to make sure one stays together if I go to pick up a drill and catch another one. You know, like if I catch a second one with it. And I feel like it's put in the effort to be a hitchhiker. So therefore, I should allow it to continue to be a hitchhiker and be near its friends. Again, it's possibly a bad thing. Um, maybe there is something you need to do to sort of break yourself out of that mental cycle. I can't think of, of what. Maybe do you, if you multi-place and then switch to single place, do you still do it? Um, maybe flip in between the two could be something that could help you get out of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of an idea off the top of my head. Um, she also says she uses the decision wheel differently to me. Um, she puts the paintings in that she really wants to do in a decision wheel. So she puts all the paintings she'd like to do in a wheel. Um, and if she lands on one and if there is any, if there is like slight disappointment, if she has disappointment when she lands on it, then she will spin again um, until she lands on one that doesn't give her disappointment. It's a good way to help you to know what your brain really wants. Because sometimes we can't quite, I don't know, it's like it's not fully known whether you do or don't want to until that decision's made. It's like asking somebody, which outfit should I wear? This one or this one? And then they give you an answer and you go, oh, actually, maybe I did want the other one. Um, she says, and it's not even because she doesn't want to do the others. She said, it's just now, it's not their time, she says, and their time will come. I think that is completely normal. Um, I say you can you can do it with other things. You can ask somebody for their opinion, and when they give you your their opinion, it can help you know whether actually it's the answer that you wanted or not, according to your disappointment level. So I say good on you for listening to your own feelings and being happy in the diamond painting that you're doing, whichever one that way may be. As for the drill friends, I do think you need to work something out for that, but only because it's making diamond painting worse for you than making it better. Um, I just don't have any ideas. So if anybody else has any ideas how she can trick her brain um, to not be bothered by it, then do let me know or let her know in the comments down below. Uh, I do keep tipping these into the pot, thinking I only have, into the lid, thinking I only have a few and then finding more. So do bear with me where I'm using my pot lid a lot more than I'm using my tray. And I should probably be using my tray. In fact, I am going to tip it into my tray with this one because I keep seeing more and more. Let's do this the right way. I'm now getting it to the point where I think I have some scattered, so I'm probably gonna miss absolutely loads of them as I go through. Uh, Jerry, she says she has not been adverse to buying paint gem minis. Uh, she says, however, she says in thinking about an upcoming trip, 
that she will be making in October. She says she may have to purchase a set or two to take with her. She says uh, her daughter from other parents is going to the New England area to photograph a wedding. Um, and she's invited her youngest daughter to tag along. So they will be heading to Boston. Um, they met their best friend in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah, I can never say that. When, I was sta when she was stationed there. And she currently lives outside of Boston. Um, so she's been promised that she'll make the trip there for years. Uh, she's been to California. Her friend's been to California to see her three times. And she's yet to go back since she left there over 30 years ago. So she's decided she is going to make the trip. I am scanning for any more of these while I'm at it. I'm not seeing any. Um, she says spend some time with her friend and then she'll meet up with the girls. She says she's sure that she would have no problems packing a paint gem mini into her suitcase to take along with her. She says she feels that if she doesn't, she may go through diamond painting withdrawals. That could very much happen. Uh, and paint gem minis are perfect for that. They really are. Um, for taking them when you go away is, yeah, they're just, you, you don't feel like you've, you know, even if you don't get to finish a paint gem mini in, you know, the little bit of time that you've actually got to sit down and do some, because you're used to not finishing a complete painting when you do a huge one, it doesn't feel, you know, necessarily like you've been, you've not got anything done, I suppose. So you can place quite a few diamonds down on a paint gem mini and it'd be equivalent to like just a tiny section of this and if you were doing a big diamond painting you'd be like oh not got to diamond paint for very long uh, but because it's a mini you're like oh I've got a quarter of it done I've got half of it done um, and yeah you, you can definitely do paint gem minis in a lot smaller chunks um, over the course of your trip and still have the satisfaction of completing a few while you're away rather than taking even a small 30 by 40 um, and not even getting, you know, one row of it completed just because you've been busy. So paint gem minis are perfect for taking away. And there's a letter B. See, I knew there'd be one I missed while I was reading out comments. This is just going to be, and there's, there's even more down here. That is going to be the story of my life. I don't know whether to start doing the symbols that jump out at me first. I think I might have to. Let me just grab these bees. Though I'll probably find more later, but because I've seen these ones, I need to get them. See a lot, three of them. Completely missed because they're mixed in with different symbols, so therefore they stand out. The contrast isn't as big. Okay, I'm gonna start with black, I think. Let's get some, let's get some bigger ones, some ones that stand out to me completed and see if I can make life easier on myself. Probably not. I say it's a very, very confetti paint in this one. It's been very nice to do a confetti one, but whip and waffles with confetti can be a bit harder. Um, Jerry also said, she says she's glad to hear that I had a good Mother's Day with a girl. She says she can't tell the last time uh, that she's been able to spend Mother's Day with hers. Uh, she said her oldest daughter works weekends and holidays are usually blacked out, so she's unable to take the time off. Um, her youngest lives two states away from her, a 14 hour drive, so she's unable to make it to see her. Um, she says, thankfully, she says they do celebrate Orthodox Easter, so her oldest has no issue being able to get that day off. Um, since the, their Easter is normally different to the non-Orthodox Easter. 
Uh, her youngest doesn't come home for Christmas, but she does come home for Easter. Uh, she says she spends a couple of days with us before and after. Um, and then she goes to spend some time with her in-laws before she heads back home. Um, the oldest worked on the 17th, she says, but they did go out afterwards um, with her family and her in-laws to celebrate her birthday. <coughs> uh, and she tries to make it up to visit her youngest for her birthday. Uh, she says since her birthday is on a holiday, she says if the oldest has the day off, she comes to see her with the baby and they watch the parade. Uh, however, this time her birthday does fall on... Um, do, uh, does fall, fall on her work day. So her husband will bring the baby up for the day and they'll watch the parade. Uh, she says they're thinking of entering their Jeep uh, in the parade this year and maybe have the baby throw the candy out. Aw, oh, throw the candy out or eat it all, that's the question. <laughs> depends what stage they're in, I suppose. <laughs> Completely depends. Oh, they were, Jerry's also added just another note. She says that she loved the extra long whip and waffle. Uh, so this is these these comments are on the ones where I finished up the fox and did an extra long whip and waffle for those ones. Um, this waffle, who knows if I keep missing some of these diamonds, it could end up being a longer one. It will be what it will be. Um, Kathy, she says she normally has seven to eight paintings kitted up at once. Uh, she says half go into her travel bag uh, because they go up to their cottage on weekends uh, and they're small paintings. And then she says she always has a large painting on the go. Uh, and at least one kitted up and they stay at home. Uh, she says, I've made great progress on the adorable fox. Yes, that whip and waffle, I did make really good progress. He's actually sat here to the side of me, um, ready to have his photograph taken uh, for the logbook, for my logbook update. I'm so thankful for my love book update videos. I don't know if they're ones that everybody watches, but it definitely helps to keep me organized and on track um, to have that you know, set video to make sure that I, of course, to be able to put the video up, I need to ensure that all my photographs are taken, everything's printed out, um, and I sort of am able to keep track of what I have completed in that last month or so. Um, whereas I find trying to do it as I go along is not as productive for me. Unfortunately, it's just, I just, it can end up getting sidetracked and, and miss. I find it confuses me more if I potentially would do a video kitting one up and forget to sort it out in my logbook. Um, and then I'd go to, you know, it down or put my next one down and then be like oh I'm all disorganized you know I've not got this ready I've not got that ready so I do find doing it all once a month really helps me so if you find you want a logbook or you have a logbook uh, but you too struggle when it comes to making sure it's up to date and it's complete then maybe set the beginning of the month as a time to join me uh, where we make sure that we update any new paintings that we've got, any paintings that we've completed, um, get your pictures ready, uh, get things updated and added into your logbook so that you're all set and ready to go. I normally do it around the first of the month. Um, I do try and squeeze in Junes at the end of May. Uh, because I do the June Waffle event and December's I normally try to squeeze in at the end of November. Uh, but other than that, it's sort of one of the first days of the month 
I try to update my logbook and make sure that it's all ready to go. Uh, Sarah, she says, hi Rebecca, she says it's been ages since she's left a comment. Uh, she says, and she's so happy to be back. She says she's missed me and this group. Oh, thank you. She said she was in a bit of camera saving. Uh, she said she was in a bit of a funk at the end of December, beginning of January. Um, so she wasn't watching the videos and she did get way behind. Uh, she says, as you can tell, she said it's taken me this long to finally get caught up. Uh, she says she didn't want to comment on older videos and mess up the conversation flow. <laughs> she says, but she's loved them all as usual. She says she loves foxes and this one is very cute. She also says, she says, since she's been thinking about it while catching up, she said she would like to suggest a fox cover paper, perhaps. Oh, there are so many cover papers we want to do. Really, really are so many different gorgeous designs um, out there and um, we've actually purchased a commercial license um, for a place that provides sort of backgrounds and images that we can use for the likes of quill paper okay where on earth did that one go i don't know it's either flipped all the way down but i can't see it oh it's there I thought it had stuck on the diamond painting, but I couldn't see where it had stuck. Um, yeah, we do have a commercial license for some designs. And oh my goodness me, every time I go looking, I find more. So we are trying to spread them out and bring you, bring you lots of different types of designs to hopefully meet everybody's needs. Uh, we've also got a few more stock ones coming soon as well. Um, I just need to find the time to finish getting some of them prepped and stocked up ready. Uh, so yeah, busy, busy times. Um, she, she also said, uh, she says, have a great day and thanks for always being there. She says, even when she wasn't. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you're back and that you're feeling better. Um, and hopefully, if, you know, the only way is up now. But make sure that you do take care of yourself. That's for sure. Uh, Anastasia, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says, incoming tech chat. She says, slash rant. Here we go. <laughs> she says, she's a software engineer uh, and computer science instructor at her local college. Go you already know a whole lot more than me. Uh, she says, how I explained the difference, she says, between the Tiny Decisions app um, using code and not AI, she says, is absolutely correct. Well, that's good. <laughs> I, I have a slight understanding, but not more of a general broad term than an in-depth term. Uh, she said, creating a list in the app assigns a number to each item on that list. Um, and when you press the button on your phone, a random number is picked and that item is selected. She said, no intelligence, just code, um, which is what I thought. So she said she teaches this very subject to her students. Uh, she says, and she couldn't have explained it better than I just did. Um, she said, AI is the newest form of technology. She says, but technology has been a growing field for decades. She says, not all technology is AI. She says, she also, she wanted to clear up what is currently called AI is not true AI. It is machine learning. So it copies what it gets from a repository of data. It looks for patterns and tries to recreate what it's found. Uh, so it actually, so actually form any true intelligence yet. 
then she said tech chat over <laughs> and she loves the painting the fox is adorable <laughs> well i'm glad what i've said is the truth um you know even though it is me chatting and i always say the truth as i know it um it is nice to know when it comes to something like ai what's ai and what's code and things like that that i've not got it completely wrong because i wouldn't want people to go away thinking what i've said is gospel uh, because believe me it's not take what you want from what i chatter and leave behind what you're not interested in uh, that's the way that's the way to do it we're just having a chin wag um dana she says hi rebecca she says she only diamond paints with tray storage uh, she says she has 232 units and 140 units uh, she says they're from amazon and she's glued the 232 ones together uh, one on top of each other and then she has the one that holds 40 sitting beside the others uh, she says she does want another 40 units but she is going to wait. Um, she says she can hold 107 trays at one time. She said she does kit it up into her tower uh, and she has to finish a kit before she starts a new one, um, but she loves it. Um, she says she can never go back to tipping out into a tray. She says she just pulls a tray and goes to work. There is a huge benefit from that, I will say. Um, if, if this craft room wasn't also my filming room, um, then I would quite possibly rearrange so that I could do the same sort of thing. So I have this desk space that I'm currently here filming at. Um, but it's actually high enough. I only stand at this desk. Um, you may have seen on one of the longer whip and waffles or one of the whip and waffles that I did. I did try pulling sort of my diamond painting chair over, um, but I sort of knelt on it more than anything else. Uh, and I just ended up being the same sort of height as... I would be standing up maybe a little bit higher and I did it just for a change of position more than anything else um, but yeah if I didn't film in here then I would potentially look at lowering my desk so that it could be somewhere I could basically sit tray storage um, and be able to grab them while sat at my drafting table diamond painting uh, because this room is in no way wide enough to do the both. Um, I have even thought about putting tray storage sort of above and behind my drafting table, but that would involve me standing up to get a tray, which would probably annoy me more than tipping diamonds in and out. The main part, the main time it annoys me is when I miss one more than anything. So I may try setting up getting a similar setup to what Susan's got when I'm working on really big diamond paintings and have little trays with a few in um, so that I can potentially do some that way instead. But we shall see. We shall see. At the moment, I just get annoyed with myself um, for missing one and just tip a few into the lid of the tray and deal with it that way um but yeah when i did the tray setup for last june event absolutely love that so i'm really looking forward to in fact that may make a decision as to which painting i do in june so i have had a suggestion to do artist room from diamond art club um i may have to see how many trays that takes uh, not that I'm really limited on trays um, but yeah I might have to see if I could fit that into tray storage units and I might use the tray storage method for June waffle again 
um, because it's really enjoyable to do. And then I'll be standing up and diamond painting and I'll have enough space to have it up that way. So yeah, we, we shall see. But I just don't have the setup for that at the moment. I've already been taking over the dining table enough. Uh, I have found with these smaller diamond paintings, I much prefer doing them in the conservatory. So sat with my little table or sat at the dining table, which is what I've done recently with this one. I've actually been sat at the diamond painting quite diamond, sorry, at the dining table quite a bit while doing this one. Um, but for bigger ones, I much prefer my drafting table. So we shall see. I need a diamond painting with not too many numbers in it to be able to use my tray storage. <coughs> I've just spotted one of those big cross ones that I've missed. I've just taken off my cardi because it started to get rather warm in here. So while I'm here, I'm gonna get this one that I missed. I did actually miss loads when I was doing them last night, doing this sort of the other part of these coffee beans last night. Uh, there was actually one point where I'd kept missing some so many, so much that I actually had the symbol I was putting on and then I had a little pot uh, the lid next to me and I just kept it out for the symbol that I kept missing uh, and then on a couple of other symbols I missed I just decided to not go back and do them at all and just wait until um, I'd, I'd finished everything else around it <laughs> so I'd stop missing them all so much. <laughs> But yeah, it's very, very confetti. Uh, 1025 Laura, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she hopes all is well with me and the family, which it is. Thank you. She says, this is going to be a long comment, she says, so she apologises in advance. Um, she says, thank you for all that you do for us. She says, making diamond painting more enjoyable and easier. She says she has had a lot of firsts in this past week. Uh, she says she ran out of drills on a square painting, she says, for the first time ever. Well, it is surprising when it's a first. I mean, I suppose a first has to happen for everybody. Um, but yeah, I've run out of drills this week as well for the first time in a long time which is actually on this painting. Not a huge amount, probably only about 20 or 25, but I haven't dropped the drills for this painting, so I'm purely blaming the painting for it. Uh, she says she didn't have them in a stash. She said, so while she was waiting for the replacements, she said she did start another painting. Um, she says her next first, she says, was having quite a lot of drills that were stuck together in quite a few of the colours. Uh, she says she went out and pulled out her little shaker bottle that we got with the nut in it for Christmas. Our little green jar that we got in the advent. Uh, she says it's the first time she's used the jar. She says, and wow. She says she only had to shake it a few times and all the drills were separated. Um, she says her new favourite little toy. She said, so thank you so much for adding it to the advent gifts. That was one of the ones that we knew we wanted to add because we knew it would be something that you know, not everybody had, but like when you when it became useful, you'd be glad you had it. Uh, but it also, you know, wasn't like something that was big and I suppose, you know, more expensive than than some of the other items that 
you'd be disappointed if you didn't like it type thing, you know, because there are some items in the advent that are more expensive than others, uh, which is what allows us to have some more expensive items in there along with um, some cheaper items, but that are still useful. So, yeah, I'm really happy that that went down as well as we'd kind of hoped, but we're never sure when we put that in the advent last year. Um, she says, lastly, she says she's received her recent order from us and uh, she has fell in love with the cover paper. She says she doesn't know why she was holding out on purchasing them. She says maybe because she loves the idea of double-sided cover paper. Um, she says, but to her great surprise, she says these are awesome she says um she purchased clover she says because with a last name of callahan um she she's irish and had to have them uh, and then she also purchased the most beautiful blue butterfly garden uh, she says may she request that we keep them as a stock item she says, if not, can you let us know the availability so that she can purchase more? <laughs> um, okay, so in relation to the cover paper, there is a few from the spring collection, uh, which Blue Butterfly Garden is in the spring collection. Um, there are a couple from that collection that have been extremely popular. Um, and what we sort of said and what we're sort of sticking to when we first started releasing the limited edition cover papers sort of each month and each season or event time. Um, if a certain cover paper is extremely popular, we will look, look to move it to be a stock item. Um, so I am hoping that Blue Butterfly will be one that moves over. Um, that is the sort of plan at the moment. It, it's on my list of discussions and double checking with Megan, you know, pros and cons of which ones we move over. Um, we don't want too many as all the time stock items um, because, you know, too many choices can be as overwhelming as not. Um, but it will be in the spring collection for quite a while so we're only at the beginning of spring now um, I think the I think when we'll when we limit the spring to whatever stock we already have prepped will actually be nearer the time that summer's come out so once the summer collection is out um, so yeah you've got a good couple of months yet anyway um, and then she says, lastly, she says she promises, promise. she says in her last order, uh, she ordered a front and back logbook page so that she can have two logbooks. Uh, she says she purchased the discs in a previous order. She says she uses our Add More Zest pouch to keep the original log, logbook in. She says, but with the new plastic covers, Oh, she can't zip it up. Um, she says, when you restock these, do you think you can get them a little larger? I will have a look. Um, the supplier of those, it is a bit of a standard size. Um, I'm just moving on to my one that I had to get my spares drills for. It's actually this pink leather three. Um, I have got a couple of different shades in this one. Uh, but it's a very, very slight difference. And because all of these are scattered, I haven't bothered changing them. I'm just sort of picking out the pinker one of the two. Sorry, sidetrack. Um, she says she loves the pouches as they are so soft. Um, I, will, I will have to have a look if the supplier does one that's slightly larger. I have a feeling... And this is only off the top of my head um, that it'll actually it actually makes quite a big jump in size and doesn't sort of 
fit the A5 pages and stuff anywhere near um, as well if I go to the next size up of pouch. Um, just to note, the logbook, the new logbook covers, which basically gives you the detail same logbook in paper and the outside cover is like in a clear plastic, uh, a toughened plastic, which um, is a little bit better long term. We actually did make, get them made wider um, only for when you have a lot of so if you can see here on my purple logbook it hangs over um, but on one of my logbooks as it gets fuller as my logbooks get fuller and fuller this is probably my fullest and um, the paper can stick out a little bit more I'm not sure if you can see like it's still it's just it the difference on the edge is not as thick. It's about five millimetres that we did it. So the other option, if you find, Laura, that you don't fill your books like hugely and, and you don't need this to protect those edges of the paper, especially if you've got it in a pouch, you can actually just trim five mils off here and then it should fit in just the same way the other one did. Uh, it should fit in the pouch. I currently use, I actually use my pouch for my stickers and things like that. So like uh, my extra logbook pages to transfer them over. Um, so maybe you can cut just that edge off, that extra bit that we, that we got as protection. If you just trim that off, which it should just trim in a normal trimmer, a normal paper trimmer. Um, and then you may find that fits in the pouch perfectly for you. Um, but I will, I will have a look. But I do have a feeling the next size up from the supplier is quite a bit bigger, and just sort of wouldn't, wouldn't be the same at all. Um, she also says, she says, in my opinion, she says you are the best YouTuber with diamond painting. Uh, she says she so looks forward to all of my videos. Uh, she says she keep everything so real uh, and she appreciates my honesty along with my humour. She see me when I'm doing a late night video, I'm even worse. She says keep up the great work and I'll speak to you again soon. Oh, thank you. It really can. I, c I can never know whether I'm going to end up coming out with any humour or not when I'm doing a video, but I do really enjoy coming in and chatting to you all and seeing where where the day goes. I feel like I'm talking very fast today. Uh, maybe it's just because I've had a busy, productive day so far. Um, just straightening the house, not cleaning, just tidying. Just from, you know, a whole week of probably just neglecting the little things that float about. Um, so yeah. Had a, had a quite productive day with that today um, and then Megan and I, oh, the advent, we have had so many advent things arrive recently and I've got so many things that are sort of part way through production or things that have arrived that are all ready to get packed into an advent box when everything else gets here. Um, everything is in so many different stages of being ready um, and we've had so many things that we've purchased and either haven't arrived or are on their way um, and things like that we've pretty much purchased everything bar one item that's coming from a UK supplier uh, and doesn't need any work from me um, and that one we've only held off just because we'd have to put the box somewhere um, and yeah we finally today just got everything noted down together right okay is this right what have we picked up what haven't we picked up have we picked up a bag that we might need to put this in have we have we designed a sticker that we might need to put on this you know like have we done all this that and the other finally got to the point today where it's like we're done we're done completely so um yeah I feel like it's making me talk fast because I've been productive. 
Right, I've had a brew. <laughs> I've had a brew and a minute. So, what are we going for next? I'm trying to trying to look at the symbols that are jumping out at me more. Um, because I just keep missing too many. Anyway, I'm now on comments from last week, which was um, working on this diamond painting. So, hug in a mug diamond painting nearer the beginning rather than right at the end, uh, which was still confetti, but lighter confetti, lighter symbols than this coffee part is. Um, Kaz, she says, good afternoon, Rebecca. She says she hopes all is well and that I've had a good week, which I have. Thank you very much. I hope you have too. Uh, she said she's still working on her excited duckling kit, uh, who she's christened Huey, Charlie Quacker's little brother. Bless. That is an adorable one. I actually can't wait to do um, some more of my splatter works which may or may not be in the future not in the very soon future but it may be in a little bit more distant future uh, Susan she says she can't wait to hear what me and the girls think of come from away oh thank you yeah we did we really really enjoyed it um, quite a bit higher up than me and hubby were when we saw it in New York. In New York, I think it was a bit of a smaller theatre, so I think there was only ground floor seating. Um, but yeah, we still had a really good view um, and the girls enjoyed it. So a couple of the girls had seen it on TV, um, but it was like their first time seeing it actually as a show um so yeah we we all enjoyed it so the three my three girls myself and two of megan's friends as well went to see it um and yeah we had a really really nice time um it's been quite a few years since i've seen it um so yeah it was it was nice nice to see it again it's a good show uh, Claire said she managed to get two loads of washing on the line this last week. Well, it must definitely be a bit warmer along with that sun where you are than where I am. Uh, we did have we have did have one day actually probably last week that I was able to have sort of the doors open, which possibly would have been warm enough to maybe put some washing out uh, but there was a scattering of showers throughout the day and then today which I thought would potentially be a nice day we actually uh, we have sort of retractable washing line so we were looking at potentially putting that back out uh, to get some washing on the line and then we had an absolutely torrential downpour so it's a good job I was in the middle of something else and hadn't quite got out to put some washing out so it looks like I shall be using the maidens for a little bit longer um, until we stop having so much rain in with any sun that we do happen to get uh, it's still not it, it was warmer today, but then as soon as the rains come uh, and after the rain, it's it's just, it's gone cold again. To the point that I feel like even if I did, even if I was able to put washing out, I would probably have to air it once I brought it in anyway. Um, which I suppose would be quicker than putting it straight on the maiden. But who can be bothered putting it out on the line and out on the maiden? I think I'd rather just throw it on the maiden and call it done for a day or so. Uh, until I pull it off the maiden later. Uh, Claire, she says also, she says her friend went to see that show in Liverpool. And she said it was really good. Yes, it is, it is a really good show. I think they've, they've got it. They've got the... Um, 
mix of sadness and, and I say humour, it's not a humorous situation at all, but um, you know, in with the show, they, they've got the, the one liners, they've sort of got the mix. It's a very much emotional roller coaster um while watching it. Um but yeah, I think I think they've done well. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let me get that one away, get my next number out. Uh Jamie, she says She's been watching for a few months now, but this is her first comment. She said, but she says the blame game got me. <laughs> she says she totally blames me for the purchase of paint gem minis. She says, what is worse? She says she really likes them. She says, what have you done? <laughs> Probably caused another addiction, to be sure. They've just released a Tuscany set. Um, my Easter set has just arrived. Uh, it arrived this past week. So my Easter set has arrived. I was gonna sort of change a couple of videos up over the, um, or maybe squeeze in an extra video showing the Easter set at Easter. Uh, but then I've realized that my fan cells video, fan cells, um, order hasn't yet arrived. It could turn up at some point this week, um, but I like to film in advance. So I'm actually going to unbox Easter on Friday, next Friday instead, because I'll be able to get that filmed this weekend. Um, and then the Tuscany set probably a couple of weeks after, because that's on its way to me. It's just not here yet, of course, because it's just been released, um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It really does surprise me how much I love each and every new set they bring out, all for different reasons. Uh, I love the bright colours in the Easter, but I love, I love the images in the Tuscany set. They're, they're beautiful. Um, and I know full well they've got more. Uh, there is a couple of replies um, but yeah there are quite a few people agreeing that um, yes paint gem minis is definitely something that I am at fault for and I'm more than happy to accept the blame for that one uh, because I do adore them I do absolutely love working on them I quite often you know I'll take them away things like that trips that we talked about but I also love if I've sort of pulled off a certain amount to do of a diamond painting like a sheet of cover paper or two sheets thinking oh, okay that's how much time I've got uh, and then I realize I've actually got some more time to diamond paint maybe I completed the section quicker than I thought um, I then sometimes love to just you know move into the conservatory and do some of a paint gem mini instead then I don't feel like I'm pulling the same colors out um, the same symbols out of a diamond painting to do another section, you know, to decide to do a bit more. Um, I feel like I'm not repeating numbers then because I'll do it on a completely different day. So yeah, I, I just really enjoy them. There's a, there's a few different instances when a paint gem mini just works perfectly as one to do, which is why I always also like to have um, some kitted up all the time so that I can just grab one um, at those odd times when it really suits. Uh, Nancy, she says, good afternoon, Rebecca. She says she has finished her mini beautiful light. She said she's reset the pattern and she's gonna do it in round in 2025. She says, thank you for all the tips. Awesome. That is going to be my next heaven and earth design and why have I pulled out that one it's not as noticeable as a couple of the others I've pulled out the triangle but I think it's not I think it's because it was the lowest one <coughs> excuse me oh um yeah it's <coughs> it's the lowest one but there isn't as many of them which is why I'm going for out of the pot. I've just thrown a diamond down somewhere and I don't know where it's gone. 
but I think I'm done with that colour anyway. So we'll call that one done for the day. Uh, Crystal, she says, oh, Lego. <clears throat> she says she loves Lego, but her wallet definitely does not. I understand that one. Lego is, you think diamond painting can be an expensive hobby, and then you enjoy Lego, and you realise how bad that one can be. Uh, she says she wants Titanic and Rivendale. Yes. Those are the two main ones left on my list as well. Um, and due to the cost, they are still there. She says she loves Lord of the Rings. See, I want, I've want i never watched Lord of the Rings. Hang me for it if you wish. I, I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, I just... I just don't, probably just not got the attention span for it. Um, I tend to just watch things if Hobby has them on. Uh, so I, I wouldn't necessarily catch all of it anyway. Like I catch snippets if something's on. Um, but I want it for the build. I've heard it's one of the best builds out there. Uh, she says one day, one day, she said she will have it. She said it's crazy expensive. She says, as for the long-standing comments about, um, the long-standing conversation about the saying, a lick and a promise, she says she has heard and used it all her life, uh, and she is from Ohio in the USA. Um, she says she thinks there are many sayings handed down from one generation to the next that just stick. She says, and may be a clue to what part of the world your ancestors came from. Uh, she says she knows hers are from England and Scotland. So there might be something to me saying that my parents are from the north. Yes, maybe it is a bit more of a northern saying, maybe. Um... Paula, she says she's just finished her first Chuck Pinson painting and she has loved working on it. She says usually she loves doing portrait style paintings, but she's coming round to landscape. She says although she does have a gnome obsession as well. Awesome. Right, I've done the really, really dark black ones. I have done the symbols that are white, white symbols on a dark one. So I think I'm going to see how I go with some of these that there's a lot of now. Let's see how I go. Uh, Henny's says, hi, Rebecca. Uh, it says they have their own decision wheel named Lauren, their daughter. And when she comes to visit for the weekend, she lets her pick a few paintings for her to work on. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. There's just so many ways uh, to make it work, if you wanna make it work, like so, so many ways. Um, but it's not for everybody. Some people know exactly what type of painting they wanna work on um, or what style they wanna do. And if you know, go with the flow. Uh, Lady Dax, she says, very interesting, she says, as to where sayings come from. She says, her ancestors are mainly from Wales and Scotland, even though her parents were both born in England. She says, as for the Catholic, she says, she does wonder if it had anything to do with dreaded handkerchiefs in our grandma's aprons, uh, they would spit on the hanky and wipe dirt off your face. <laughs> yes, or use a tissue like I used to do. Uh, she says, oh, now she says she really wants to get some Lego. She says, come on, own up. Who gets the blame this time? Oh, was it Denise? I want to say Denise. Um, it was in the Facebook group that started it. I'm trying to have a search now. I'm having a search for Lego. It was Denise. 
Um, she did ask to share, um, she did start asking me to share the Legos, which I have put um, photos in um, her post of our Lego and hubby put some of his as well. Um, whether it was, whether it did spring from like a craft room tour, um, when I did a mini tour and there was sort of some Lego up on our shelf then because we'd been sort of rearranging the conservatory a little bit and moving a bookcase around in there and stuff. So whether it sort of spurred on from that, um, but yeah, I, I'm, plas I'm passing the Lego discussion blame onto Denise. I'm sure she can cope. Um, but yeah, she was doing um, some succulents. Now she did get them as a Valentine present, so whether we can blame the, the fella for gifting, you know, I'm up for blaming who, whichever. <laughs> I'm up for blaming either or both. Um, but yes, it's it's definitely started. Somebody has posted a picture, I'm pretty sure, of Rivendell as well, which just makes me want it even more. But we're not going on that topic. Um, Mary, she says she has been bad with her Lego spending recently. She has just finished up the $300 Bowser set. Uh, right before that, she did Frame Cabin. That's supposed to be a nice one as well, um, which has so many little props and figures. It really does make it look like a lived-in cabin. Um, she hasn't bought a next project yet because she is debating um, between the Pyramid of Gaza and the Pac-Man machine. Oh, you might have to have a look at what people say is the best build out of the two um, because the, the build is definitely a huge part of the fun. I've just spotted a letter G that I've missed that I did before. Um, I think I'm going to try and ignore it until later and fill it in later, but we'll see. In fact, I've just seen four now that I've missed. So I've obviously missed a full section of them. So, yeah, we might go back to that later. Maybe it wasn't the best symbol to decide to do. Uh, maybe I should put my light pad on as well. I've got this on a light pad, but the light pad is not switched on. Uh, Wendy, she says, diamond dots have uh, many partials and full drills. Ah, yes, I forgot about diamond dots. Diamond dots do quite a few partials, diamond paintings. Um, because I know there's been a few images that I've liked and I've actually not got because they're partials. But if you enjoy partials, then maybe diamond dots is the company for you. Um, Olivia she says good evening Rebecca she says she's just watching uh, my video now as she's been having a sorting kind of day I love those kinds of days as well sorting organizing getting things straight always makes me feel good at the end of the day knowing the things are straighter and yeah more organized is always good in my opinion, anyway. Um, she says she's been with her diamonds and canvases. So she's been sorting all those out. And she's been round to her parents for tea. Even better. Not had to deal, tea, deal with tea. She says she's just been sorting the rounds for now. Um, or so far. She says she has most of her stash in round. Well, you've bitten the bullet then. Got the ones that you have more of done first. That top row of my diamond painting is not on the light pad, so the symbols look a slightly different colour. Um, yeah, she has most of her satin rounds. She says she'll think she'll do a similar system to me um, where she puts her diamonds in a box uh, for those, you know, in a mesh bag and then put the diamonds separately. Um, and hanger canvas up, hanger canvases up on the hangers. I find it definitely works best for me anyway for 
my 30 by 40 paintings or smaller. Um, and I have a hanger for square ones and a hanger for round ones. And then I have a draw for my square diamonds and a draw for my round diamonds. Um, and while I do have more rounds in 30 by 40s than I have squares, I do also have all my paint gem diamonds are in with my squares. So that definitely fills that box up. Uh, she says she needs to purchase some hooks or a clothes rail to put the canvases on to make sure that they stay flat-ish. Uh, she said she did roll some big ones up, uh, but she's just got so much stuff that she needs to make it as compact as possible um, without a whole load of boxes and canvas boxes about. She says she's trying to make the room cosy so that she feels um, chilled when she dots away. She says, sorry for the long comment. I don't mind the long comments. I get exactly what you're saying. You need that calm space. You need that organized space. Organized can equal calm to me. Um, you know, you sort of need it tucked away, but able to grab what you need to be able to grab. Um, Sometimes organisation or certain ways of organisation, of organising, just work perfectly, exactly how you want them to uh, and fantastic. And sometimes they do just need tweaking. And there's a six that I missed. I'm on a roll. Um, yeah, and sometimes they do just need a little bit of a tweak to make them, you know, work better for you. Right, H, I've got, I think I'm just going to do a couple straight out of the pots because there is only a few of what I'm classing as these lighter symbols left. And then I think I have just a whole load of the letter three, the number three, letter three, number three and number nine when I've done these little bits. I do also need to fill in that number six. Get that one done. Get some of these odd ones done. Uh, Olivia also said, she said St. Patrick's Day two years ago. Um, oh, her gran passed away. She says she'd like to think that she met her granddad and went for a dance. Oh, bless. That's a lovely thought. Lovely thought. Um, sorry, I'm just imagining now a granny dancing. Irish jig. Irish jig. Uh, Olivia also says, she says, cruising is fab. She says she went on a Morella Discovery 2 cruise first time round about a year ago. Awesome sounds like fun it's not something i've done yet my parents have been on a couple but it's not something that we've done yet though it is something we have potentially thought about doing um vanessa she says her baba uh, which is her ukrainian grandma in english she said whenever she would drop something um she always said <sighs> Uh, in, in brackets, it, it's the poop emoji. So insert whichever word for poop you wish in there. Uh, she says that she always said, poop, mother, I can't dance. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. You've got to have these little phrases, I think. I think, you know, maybe we should all have a Google of our favourite phrase and we can just adopt a phrase that, that we want that we want our children or grandchildren to remember us for saying this phrase. We need to all think of one that suits us. Um, Nursey, 1992, says she's a fairly new diamond painter. Uh, she says she's just placed her first order 
just on her first purchase from me she says later she's going to try my trays well hello and welcome to the addictive craft uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask them um, doesn't matter what they are and we will do our best to answer give you options um, and of course join in our Facebook group if you would like to enjoy the madness that can sometimes go on over there it can seem quite calm at times and then it can definitely uh, get fun um, Tiffany she says hi Rebecca she says she noticed on her last two orders uh, it didn't give her the option of uh, untracked or tracked shipping she says has the tracked shipping option been removed for New Zealand um, no it's not I did spot your comment uh, when I was checking other comments and I did go on the website and try so I did pop some in my basket and pretend I was in New Zealand for a moment um, it didn't give the option on the first screen so if you pay by Apple Pay um, the shipping options, I think, then pop up in the Apple Bay section. So where you get to pick which card you want to use with Apple Bay, um, it pops up there. So if you confirm it too quick, you may not have been able to select the shipping option. But if you go through to the next one, you still can then pay by Apple Pay. But if you go through to continue checkout, um, then it did give me the option of tracked or untracked. And then I could choose whether to pay by Apple Pay. So I'm not sure how you pay for it, but we haven't removed the tracked option for New Zealand. Um, and it, the only countries that don't have the tracked option are the ones that we don't have the tracked option for when shipping. There are a few countries that, uh, because we use Royal Mail, which is sort of our main postal service, um, they offer tracked with companies or with countries where their postal service will allow tracked, for example, because um, the, the postal service, you know, for example, Netherlands Post, um, NL, I think it's called, um, they offer the tracked shipping and they take over the tracking once Royal Mail's passed it over to them. But New Zealand should still have track shipping, or at least it did for me. Um, Carrie, she says she's watching the waffle um, while in a winter storm warning. Oh my goodness. She says here in Duluth, Minnesota, she said we went through a winter that had record low snow. She says basically nothing. She says now we are supposed to get 11 to 17 inches. That is far too much snow she says depending on where in the city you are she said so she's hunkered down uh, she's hoping that they don't get that much don't blame you um, so she can still go th to therapy tomorrow she says hope everyone has a great less snowy week has anybody else noticed that the last few years the seasons can't decide what order they're in and they all want to turn every time of the year it's like oh yes you can have 10 minutes of summer but then we're going back to winter and then you can have some spring and then it can be autumn-y um oh update she says where she lives in town as of the tuesday so last tuesday at 11 a.m they have gotten over 20 inches of snow and it's still coming down oh my goodness me stay at home it is definitely stay at home hot chocolate blanket diamond painting kind of time um trish she says maybe she says do a massive de-kitting of everything that you have to de-kit she says at one time so you can get caught up, she says, and don't have to worry about spacing out the videos. There are pluses and minuses to both, Trish, to be fair. Um, because as much as I love the de-kitting process, um, one or two kits at a time is sort of my maximum. 
I'm kind of looking forward to de-kitting three paint gems at once, but I'm kind of not. I would definitely prefer to kit up three paintings than kit down three paintings. Um, so we're going to see how that one goes. I'm kind of hoping that a lot of numbers are the same um, because they're all paint gems. So I'm kind of hoping that they will, yeah, that it will be easier because, um, you know, I won't be opening as many bags. Um, but yeah, I mean, th there are times when I'm like, yes, I want to get de-kitted. I want to get them done. And there are other times when I'm like, actually, I like spacing them out because who wants to de-kit that many all at once? So, yeah, there are pluses and minuses. There will be times that I do throw a couple together and times that I don't. Um, but what I did decide to do, or you will have seen by now, I did throw up an extra um, video rather than waiting to see if my paint gem Easter kit came out and do an unboxing I did decide to just do my other D kitting and put both two D kitting videos up in a week because um, I figured it'll sort itself out eventually but anyway coffee a hug in a mug is done um, and even if I did run out of one diamond a little bit up the top, um, it gave me a chance to use a few and I still have plenty left. So they can go back into my spares. But yeah, isn't it absolutely gorgeous? And I do like the fact close up, the words aren't as clear as they are through the camera. Uh, but of course, the idea is that you step back and I love the way these coffee beans look like coffee beans when you step back. So, yeah, I've got another painting completed. I am on a roll, an absolute roll uh, this week. So I will be kitting up a new one this week. Um, and it is a bigger one. Um, but you'll be able to see that video on Tuesday I think um, so yeah I've got a new one kitted up ready to go so we'll work on that one next week um, and I reckon that one will take me a little bit longer but this was fun to do some confetti for a change as frustrating as it got missing diamonds which I've done off camera as much as on um, it has been really nice to do to do a confetti type of painting and this one I say from Melissa it is another one of probably an older one in my stash and um, so it's nice to get another one completed but yeah thank you for joining me for today's whip and waffle and um, I will potentially do another longer whip and waffle in the future um, to catch up on comments um, but yeah, rest assured, I will get to everybody's comments at some point. So I'm now going to add this to my de-kitting pile, of which there is only this one to do. Uh, but it's all good. I suppose it's a benefit of getting multiple paintings completed. Um, and yeah, it'll take me a bit longer before I have my next de-kitting due to the size of the next one. But anyway... Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.